Hello my frugal fans, let's talk about some frugal living habits that frugal people do on a daily basis to save themselves money every single day. And the best part of this video is that anybody, including you, can start implementing these habits in your life today as they don't require any previous knowledge of frugal living. And they also don't require to have a bunch of money saved up. So you can start to do every single one of these habits today and I hope that they're just as exciting for everyone out there as they are for me. Hello friends and welcome back to another money video. If you are new here, hi, my name's Yvonne and I make new videos every week, mostly talking about how to save money, make money and grow your money. And that's because I'm on a personal journey to financial freedom and independence and I'm sharing with you all the tips, tricks, hacks that have helped me so that they can help you too. So if you are interested in that type of content, please make sure to hit that like button, join our community by subscribing and share this video with someone who wants to make a positive impact on their finances. Right, frugal habit number one is being aware of your spending habits. I have actually found the easiest way to start living a more frugal lifestyle is to start by simply choosing to become more aware of your habits, your ideologies, your actions, especially when it comes to anything money related. That's because you'll be surprised how much your habits dictate how you spend your money. Or maybe it's just me, but I found, I thought before we went into lockdown, I was very much aware of my spending habits because when it came to buying anything for myself, I would really try to be careful, but I was not wise. And it was even worse for my son. I would just buy anything he remotely smiled at, as well as anything I thought he would look super cute in. But once we were stuck at home and I had more time to go through my finances and some of my spending habits, I quickly came to realize that there was still a lot of work that I needed to do with my money, especially if I was going to be meeting some of my bigger financial goals. And so that really caused me to reflect on my spending habits, what they were and what I wanted to change about them and you might be in a similar position you might be wanting to get better with your money and maybe that's why you're even considering frugal living and even the fact that you're watching this video you've already taken a step towards living more mindfully so here's a pat on the back from me to you now the important thing is to turn intention into action so what I would recommend is that whenever you're thinking about making a new purchase ask yourself do I really need this? And if there's even a moment of hesitation, I mean that you've had to think about it for more than three seconds, then you have to wait 72 hours before you can make the purchase. If you remember that purchase after 72 hours, then you can go ahead and buy it. But if not, then a simple question like that and a delay tactic can be all it takes to prevent you from making an impulse and unnecessary purchase and thus saving you money. So I found that by doing this, that for every seven or so purchases, there was only ever one that I really needed. And so it slowly stopped me from impulse purchasing and that has been nothing but good for my bank account, my financial goals, and my pride. The second frugal tip is to start decluttering your home regularly. Yes, I said declutter. I have actually read several times that minimalism and frugal living go hand in hand. And I have to put my hand up and say, this is one that I'm still working on. It's a work in progress for me. I agree ever since I started practicing frugal living and I've been actively managing my finances, I've definitely spent less, but that definitely does not take away from my already cluttered home with stuff for my previous spending escapades. So now I'm really trying to declutter my home and only keep things that I really need. And so the same can be said of you, maybe Maybe you're trying to make a habit out of decluttering your home and I would say start with an area of your home as often as you can maybe you do it once a month or every other month maybe it's every quarter or even twice a year for me I always try and at least declutter my wardrobe twice a year kind of in line with the seasons so have a spring summer declutter autumn autumn declutter but now I want to make a more conscious effort to declutter my home at least every quarter or at least every season right and by declutter i mean really go through things and get rid of anything i'm not using and this is coming from a self-confessed shopaholic right here this should be enough to show you that frugal living actually works. But for you, it may be your garage that ends up messy and cluttered or your kitchen, or it might be your entire home. But the first step is to get out of this mindset, even though it might seem like a mission, start clearing out your entire homes, 
take things to the recycling center and charity shops and you may find that it's actually one of the ways that helps to stop impulse buying tip number three is to pay close attention to how much you waste frugal living is all about being intentional about how you spend your money thought really must go into how you spend every cent making sure it's purposeful and of course it's not a waste of money and with that it's also important to become mindful of the way you use things around your home and i mean everything from how you spend your beauty products to how you use your food if you were to be honest and ask yourself how often do you find yourself throwing out food that has gone past its sell by date would it be very often or hardly ever where on the scale would you land and you know the same can be said of other products as well if you take note of how much of something you use like toothpaste shampoo you might start to realize how much money is being wasted through excess or through waste this was mind-blowing for me so as you're becoming more intentional about how you're spending your money also pay close attention to how much you may be wasting tip number four is to cook your meals at home more often now i mention this quite a lot and that's because i really love cooking and i want to be able to try new recipes but i know that even being honest with myself i you hardly ever used to cook because let's be real it's easier to have something convenient than having to stay in the kitchen for almost two hours for one meal but over the course of the last year all of that has really changed and i've realized for me convenience was an option because i was just tired and i just couldn't be bothered but being able to work from home has really changed things for me i'm able to switch off my computer at 5 p.m and walk from my home office to the kitchen which isn't as difficult as for example closing my computer at work spending an entire hour on two london underground trains cramped under somebody's armpit ew and then getting home and thinking about spending two hours cooking a meal no way it was just so much easier to just choose convenient at that time so over the course of the year i've come to totally enjoy cooking food and trying out recipes because i'm in my home i have more time for it and i've just found that cooking meals from scratch using fresh ingredients just makes the food taste so much better or maybe it's because i'm kind of proud of myself <laughs> and of course it's been really good for my wallet too as i now enjoy meal planning and thinking about what we're going to be eating for the week and just buying those ingredients and I know a lot of people can relate to this experience. Cooking from scratch can seem really difficult and time consuming. And with ready meals, takeaways, eating out, seeming like the far more convenient option. However, this is a less healthy and a much more expensive way of feeding yourself. So get into the habit of cooking as many of your meals from scratch as possible, even if you just start with one meal a day. And then before you know it, you'll have at least a handful of your favorite meals that you can always come back to over and over again. Tip number five is to set clear goals for your spending. So I'm truly learning that in order to live a happy, frugal life, you need to know your priorities what is important to you now and what you want for the future so i'm a huge advocate of having short-term and long-term goals because they're guiding me and reminding me of all the things i'm working so hard for now it's completely up to you what you want for your life obviously but i do recommend you should sit down and have a couple of goals you would like to achieve in the short term so maybe in the next year or so and those that you want to achieve in the long term so maybe in the next five or ten years time and create an action plan to meet these goals. I think your goals should be completely dependent on your personal preferences and you can have anything and everything from learning how to cut hair this year, to saving enough money to get a mortgage on a house, to just learning how to grow spring onions on your windowsill. The important thing is that you have clear measurable goals that you can achieve. So for me, knowing my goals and what I want to achieve each month and year is what is really helping me direct my money towards the things that will make me happiest and also help me reach those goals frugal habit number seven is finding some free hobbies now the country is slowly opening up i live in the uk i don't know if it's the same for where you are but i know that it can be so tempting to get that card out and start paying for activities as a reason to do something fun or to do your hobby but there's so many fun hobbies that you can have that have absolutely no price tag associated with them and the added benefit is that you can still have a whole heap of fun without having to spend a whole heap of cash. Some of the free hobbies I currently like and I've started to enjoy are like long walks in the countryside, picnicking in a park with family and friends. Like I said, I'm also hoping to start growing my own vegetables and using my harvest to cook up amazing homemade meals. 
And of course, one of my new favorite ones is stargazing because I'm really hoping to catch something amazing in the sky this summer. There are also so many other things in life that cost very little or nothing at all. So learning to appreciate those things first is essential to learning how to be frugal and more importantly, how to actually enjoy a more intentional frugal lifestyle. Let me know in the comments below some of your favorite frugal living tips. As we are a community who love to share all of our favorite money saving tips, remember if you are looking for free money, make sure to hit those stocks and shares link below, deposit money into your account and get a free share worth up to 100 pounds. That's potentially 99 free pounds. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any future uploads. And please share this video with someone who wants to make a positive impact on their finance. Don't forget to check out these videos which will show you all the financial tips I'm currently implementing in my life that have saved me thousands of pounds. Thank you so much for all your support and I will see you in the comments below and of course in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.